An amazing story of survival on a Bay Area beach where lightning struck a Texas teen vacationing with his family. Good evening. I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us tonight. That teenager incredibly is recovering at Tampa General Hospital. Eight on your side's Chip Osowski joins us now live there with an update on how he's doing. Chip. Well, he's currently listed in serious condition here at Tampa General Hospital, but, her, but his mom and dad tell me he's making amazing improvements every day. As we started walking across the beach, there were several people still on the beach. Everybody was trying to get packed up. Barbara Brewer and her husband Jeremiah described the day as an enjoyable one. They tell Eight on Your Side their kids, Ashley and Jacob, were enjoying some fun and sun on Siesta Key last Thursday, and then the storm rolled in. I was walking ahead of Jacob, but I, I saw the flash of light. You know, I could smell the, the singed air around me and this instant incredible crack. The next thing you know, we were all on the ground and I had ringing in my ear. I looked over and uh, my son Jacob had a huge hole in his shirt from where he got hit by lightning. A good Samaritan began CPR and then a Sarasota deputy stepped in. Paramedics rushed Jacob to a hospital in Sarasota before he was transported to TGH. There's a great danger here almost on a daily basis. In this Eight on your side, Chief Meteorologist Steve Jervie says summer storms can roll in quickly. When you're hearing thunder, you should probably go inside. These storms move very fast, they develop very quickly, and the lightning danger is there imminently. So the idea is to try to get indoors, inside a car, inside a home as quickly as possible. The Brewers know Jacob's recovery won't happen overnight. They're just happy he's alive. To me, there's no doubt in my mind it, it, it's a miracle that, it is. that he's alive, that he's been alive every morning now since, and yeah. he's breathing, and he's actually trying to communicate to us with yes. hand gestures. And Jacob's parents wanted to thank the first responders and that good Samaritan that helped save their son's life. Meanwhile, there is a GoFundMe account set up for the family to help with their mounting medical and other expenses. You can find out more on that by logging on to WFLA.com or checking out the WFLA app. Reporting live in Tampa, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.